nostalgia. The word brings to mind a joyous feeling felt when engaging in something in the present that we really enjoyed doing in the past. Gaming is no different. Everyone has games that brings back memories from what we think of as now better times. Hindsight is like the snap that points out what you could have done. Hindsight tells us our childhood may not have been as bad as we thought. As adults, we know how the world works. When we're growing up, we never really had a grip on the world. Hindsight tells us that those times were better, safer, less complicated. Games that bring on nostalgia puts us in the mindset of a kid again. It makes us feel safe, secure. And protect it. Humans have a natural tendency to want safety and protection, especially the adults. Because as adults we know just how quickly the world can go from okay one day to horrible the next. As gamers we seek safety and security in games. That's why people can create entire worlds or even a completely different life inside of a video game. I started gaming when I was very young, as most gamers did my age. I grew up playing Tekken and Need for Speed on the PlayStation, with my brother and our friends. Racing against each other. Me being the bad guy and my brother chasing me in the cop cars. In school my classmates told me about this awesome game where you could do everything you wanted. You want to be a lumber? Go chop wood and sell it. You want to kill monsters? Go do that. You want to mine and smit ore? Go ahead. You could even dance for money if you wanted to. Of course I'm talking about RuneScape. RuneScape was the first game I really got a lot of hours in. At first we only had one PC at home, and even our friends would come over and we would swap every half hour. So every one of us could have their time skilling in RuneScape, and that's how I started my first character. I made a lot of online friends. Before RuneScape I didn't even know what a clan was, and now I belong them one. I had such great times, and when I wasn't skilling or fighting monsters, I was chilling in the bank with my online friends just talking about everyday life. Even thinking about it while writing this, I'm getting nostalgia. Once I moved, I had my very own PC and I would play it after school and meet up with my buddies. Later in life I bought myself the Xbox 360. Cause one time, I was visiting a friend and he was playing Call of Duty, and I remember just sitting there watching him thinking this is so cool and then he handed me the controller. I couldn't be happier in my life, it was the first game even though I sucked of course, but it was awesome. The fast paced first person shooter was something completely different for me and it sparked my competitive side like no other game had done before. I played Medal of Honor on the Playstation before but it was different. The online mode was so well polished and so enjoyable. So I needed to get an Xbox to play Call of Duty with my friend. Before that I didn't even have a console of my own, so I got myself one and started playing Call of Duty. Nostalgia gives us hope for the future. It tells us that if good times happened in the past, then more good times will happen in the future. Later I started gaming on my own. It's hard to think about what game came next in chronological order, but they all had a team, single player strategy. A broad gaming description that can fit a lot of games in it. Games like Command and Conquer Red Alert and Yuri's Revenge, Age of Empires 2, and of course Sid Meier's Civilization. Red Alert was my first real strategic game. It's a base builder placing you in a scenario where the Cold War would get out of hand. The goal of the game was to build bases using the resources at your disposal and completing the missions or just destroying the enemy in skirmishes. I never played online though, always against AI. It was quite a challenge for me, a 12 year old. Age of Empires 2 is a real time strategy game that is completely different from Command and Conquer, but it's in ancient times. And then that one day, my mom came home and she had bought me a game called Guild Wars. The first real MMORPG besides RuneScape that I played. But it was so different, here the focus line more on fighting monsters and missions than chopping wood or mining ore. 
Till this day, I still play Guild Wars. And Guild Wars 2, they're still my favorite games and I will never forget them. But think about what nostalgia is for a second. It's a feeling coming from a memory. A memory of better times. That may or may not be accurate. Games we played a long time ago that brings back those memories might not continue to be fun. Red Alert, I played it for hundreds of hours when I was young. And it's not as fun now that I'm older. So I don't play it as much anymore. Sometimes nostalgia lies. In conclusion, nostalgia in games is a good thing. It allows us to relive parts of our childhood that otherwise would not have a reason to bring back up from the depths of our minds. Many people say that video games lead to antisocial behavior, violence and a drop in school grades. Video games teach us how the world is. When you are playing multiplayer of any game, you will usually find people who are just toxic. It prepares for dealing with the worst society has to throw at us. Human beings are prone to violence. The first murder, according to the Bible, happened when Cain killed Abel back in Genesis. I'm pretty sure that they did not have video games back then. The only point that actually makes sense is the drop in school grades. It takes a great deal of discipline to do schoolwork over video games. It builds character. So next time you feel nostalgia coming on, take some time to stop and smell the memories. Bask in the thoughts of better times and hope that the good times are still ahead. No matter what the world tells you in the present, this is what video game nostalgia teaches us. So this was it for today guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you do, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Saitan's might. Stagger before the power of the dragon. Insects, you've chosen a terrible time to be heroes.
Charge! Oh. The battle continues! Charge! Uh. 